Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you so much for joining us for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Tiffany Lee. Well, before we get a look at the forecast, we've got some big news out of the River Valley. A new five year labor agreement between Fort Smith based ArcBest and Teamsters has been approved by union members. The national agreement will cover about 8600 members and 137 local unions who work for ABF Freight. The highlights of the agreement include a three and a half dollar an hour raise at the beginning with a total hourly raise of six and a half dollars over the course of the agreement. The agreement also forbids the use of driver facing cameras. Now let's go to Zach with a check of today's forecast. Hey, off to a good start, Tiffany. We got clouds across northwest Arkansas. Those clouds spilling into the River Valley and uh, at least uh, giving us some shade from that sunshine. We'll see breaks of sun, especially across the southern half. Clouds are going to try to hang a little tough uh, and a little thicker, a little longer across northwest Arkansas. We'll likely see highs in the 80s to low 90s. Northwest Arkansas, again, a little drier, a little warmer, muggier, low to mid 90s for the River Valley and the Washitals. 50% chance of some scattered showers. We're seeing an initial isolated pop up shower to kick off our day across northwest Arkansas. A few spotty showers in the River Valley, but we're tracking a cluster of rain in south central Kansas. That's going to make a run for five country. If it can hold together, we'll see the shower activity moving in late morning, early afternoon. A few rumbles of thunder, some gusty winds, a few pockets of hail can't be rolled out. Isolated shower chance will linger across the River Valley and the Washitals as we go into the late afternoon and evening hour, and then we'll reset another. Another wave of rain and storms overnight will make a run towards five country. Tiffany. All right, thanks for that, Zach. Well, if you were anywhere in five country last night, chances are you heard fireworks. Today's city officials are asking that you properly dispose of them. You don't want to accidentally set anything on fire. So when you're throwing any used or old fireworks away, they say to be sure to soak them in a bucket of water or hose them down. If you don't soak those things down, you run the risk of setting your trash on fire. And if that starts burning in the middle of the night, long after you've gone to bed, it can quickly spread into the home. And if you want to save any other fireworks you didn't use, remember to keep them in a cool and dry area, especially with the hot temperatures this summer. Meanwhile, former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson spent his holiday on the campaign trail in Iowa. He was shaking hands and hoping to influence voters ahead of the 2024 presidential election blue collar candidate, not a blue blood. And uh, that's what I bring, a commonality to uh, the race. Hutchinson emphasized that his experience serving Arkansas at both the state and federal level has prepared him to take on a bigger role. He also answered questions about the economy, health care, and more from those in the audience. I understand we need a pro-growth energy policy. We need to secure our border. Uh, we need to make sure that America is strong. We will keep you updated on what all of the 2024 presidential candidates are up to this election. We'll do this as it gets closer right here on 5newsonline.com. And don't forget, you can check out the latest exhibit at the Momentary. It's a celebration of America. Artist Dave Cole finished the world's largest knitted American flag. Cole used two telephone poles as knitting needles that were attached to two large excavators that were used as arms. Cole says that he sees knitting as an art form. I've been knitting in my art practice for about 25 years, and it seemed to be the logical extreme, or the illogical extreme. The flag will remain on view through July 16th. Those are some of your top headlines on this Wednesday. We'll continue to follow the news all day long. Catch up with us again this evening on your 5 News at 4, 5, and 6. I'm Tiffany Lee. Have a great day.